We're going to use this Harbor Freight charger to charge up a car battery. Put the terminals red on positive, black on negative. Turn on the charger. The battery's got 7.4 volts. We're going to charge this 12 volt battery at 10 amps. So we'll flip it over to 12 volts, 10 amps. You do that using the function feature. Then to start charging, you hit start. If I could charge this battery through the night, I would go 12 volt, 2 amps. It just seems to do a better charge. 10 amp usually gets the job done and a lot it's faster. Been a few hours, we'll check the status by hitting mode. We're at 11.7 volts. We'll check to see if there's enough voltage to start the car. We'll move the car, then we'll finish charging it. There's enough charge to start the car. We'll finish charging the battery at 2 amps. We'll make sure that the cables are securely on. Turn the charger back on. 10.8 volts and it reset to the two amp charge. We'll start charging. We'll let this charge all night if we have to. Overnight, it's still working. It's not fully charged overnight. Clean everything up and check the electrolytes. If the electrolytes are low, it'll never recover. Make sure everything's really clean. You don't want any debris in there. Pull up the tops, make sure no debris falls it's good in. that we've got water in all the cells. That would be a problem. This last cell may be a little low, but it's definitely hydrated. Knowing that the battery's hydrated, I'll go ahead and keep, we'll keep going at two amps. Overnight, the battery charger says it's bad. There's a few things I've learned I can try here. I'm gonna cycle it to the 200 amp start. Everything's gotta be well ventilated. You can see the activity immediately in the cell. do this for about a couple minutes. You can see activity in everything except for this last cell here. This last cell is where the problem is. Actually, the second to the last cell is not very active either. Look at the heat distribution through this thermal camera. I would recommend not doing this because the gases coming out of here are flammable. There's still no activity in the two last cells. I feel the battery, I wanna make sure there's no heat buildup. I'll stop the high power and go back to two amps. Then I'll try another charge. It's taken everything through a recondition cycle. Overnight, the battery says bad again. At this point, this battery is not gonna easily recover. Because it's not easily recoverable, this would be a good time to exchange it in for a new one. 